As Uganda looks forward to improving road network in the country, in the next financial year, 2022-2023, emphasis will be put on construction of roads and maintenance in urban and rural areas. Speaking to the State Minister for Works and Transport, Musa Echeru, reveals that COVID-19 had a greater impact on the nation and that budget cuts had to be made in order to free up more funds. Now that funds have been restored, each district will receive 1 billion shillings in order to improve community access roads to enable movement of goods and services. The emphasis is going to be in these areas, as you must have seen, community access roads. Community access roads across the country will benefit each district, like he has told you, is going to receive 1 billion shillings to help the local governments work on the community access roads, and then their efforts will be supplemented by the center. According to Assistant Commissioner Engineer Joseph Muchiri from the Ministry of Works and Transport, they have been experiencing a huge problem in the optimal prices of constructing a unit per kilometre, which is still a perception despite increasing fuel prices and foreign rates that keep changing, constraining the budget for the roads. The specifications or the quality of the roads that we do construct, that is also a function of, of money. We would have loved to construct um, stronger pavements, uh, starting from Kampala all the way to Jinja, all the way going to uh, northern Uganda. But when we have a budget that is constrained, then we have to make sure that in our calibration and um, economic calculations during appraisal, we use money that is available. And then we see, try to optimize that resource to see that we can get the best road out of it. And what we get is a 15-year design, um, <coughs> um, uh, flexible pavements. Uh, we would have loved to construct roads that you always refer to, which are rigid pavements, but this is a very high cost um, input, especially the capital investment that you need to put in. In addition to that, as much as the budget is still constrained, the technical team is using that chance to practice corruption by using different cheap material while constructing urban roads. Old story. Cobblestone was approved by the president that we start using it in the urban areas in Uganda. And we were instructed to start on this. And the pilot was, we were instructed to, to work on 36 kilometers of urban roads. And uh, we have went ahead you know, when we are studying to where to start off, we had to use different areas where we can sample this pilot of cobblestones. And the ministry went ahead and used the company by the names of ETATS. And we sampled, and the following town, towns were chosen. Njeru, town, town, Njeru Municipal Council, Katwe Kabatolo Town Council, Luelo Town Council, and Kabramaido. Those are the town councils that we are going to start with using cobblestone. We are going to sample one kilometer to work on those roads. Citizens, where are these projects are going? Construction of roads. Try to take interest in what is going on so that you can help us to know. Is the supervision going on? Is the right materials being used? It's not very highly technical. Somebody can tell which, which is madam and which is just bare soil. So it's, it's something which, when we get reports of corruption, we act on them. Of course, uh, Chair, there is also the element of capacity. We want to encourage our local farms to take on the works there is even a percentage which is allocated to them. But some of our local, cons, our local companies lack that capacity. So when they lack capacity, they go in for other things which compromise the quality of work. But otherwise, uh, we don't deny there is corruption, and, but we don't condone it. 
Uganda is set to construct over 5,591 kilometers with a total paved stock of 22.6% of the national road network. Samuel Chirumunda compiled this story.